Okay, Alexis. Okay. <laughs> okay, so if you could just tell me um, your first reactions to the project when it got assigned, um, what did you think about it? I guess we'll start there. Well, at first I was very overwhelmed because I have never done anything with cameras or production or anything like that. So I knew I was really just going to be kind of thrown into it. But I was also very excited because I like to really get involved in the community and I thought that that was a really great way to do that. So tell me about when we went out. If you can describe what it was like to get up. We know we got up really early. It was like, the, I think the second week of class, we went out uh -huh. to Mr. Mesker's farm. So yeah. could you tell me a little bit about that experience for you? Well, first of all, I got lost, so that wasn't good. <laughs> so, um, and GPS doesn't work in the country, but um, I didn't, it was really great because I grew up in a real rural town surrounded by cornfields and everything, but I never grew up on a farm. I, my, none of my family grew up on a farm. I was I lived in a suburb my whole life, so it was really like a new experience for me. And I think a lot of people look at me and they think that I'm more like prissy and I don't like to do things like that. But in reality, I love um, getting involved and like um, I love meeting Mr. Metzger. He was such a great guy, and he was so fun to talk to and. He was excited to take me on his golf cart around the barn and um, show me his tractors. And I think when you communicate with someone like that, it makes it really fun. Yeah, and you came for like the follow-up visit when we went back to the yep. farm to mm -hmm. shoot. So you actually were, well, you were one of two students that actually mm -hmm. took a camera in that class. So you took a lot of initiative. So yeah. can you tell me why you, why you did that? I know you explained it, you jumped into things. But. Yeah, because I really wanted to learn how to use a camera really well because um, I didn't have any journalism program in my high school. So um, I wanted to, I knew that the best way, um, I'm sorry, I'm trying to no, go ahead. Yeah. The best way to... Um, learn is to just do it and um, so even though I was kind of a little shaky at it and I was freaking out a little bit I thought I'll just play around with it and he was so nice I knew he let me come back but really besides that I really liked Mr. Metzger period and him and his wife were so friendly um, I thought his farm was really pretty and it was interesting and I didn't feel like I got enough shots and I knew that um, when I went back I could get a lot of good footage Great. So, yeah. You did. You did. You guys did such a great job with that project. Thanks. So can you tell me what it was like, kind of skipping ahead to um, when you were editing this digital story? Mm -hmm. So it, like, was that is this your first? Is that your first time doing that? And then what was that process like for you? It was my very first time editing anything like that, um, and my first time actually using a camera and um, things like that. But um, it was very overwhelming because I got a lot of footage and Mr. Metzger talked a lot and he had a lot to say and he was very interesting but going through all those sound bites I didn't even know what a sound bite was when I started so I didn't know to listen for that stuff so I was um, it took me a long time to go through the footage it was overwhelming but um, overall I was happy with my project and I think it was a really good first experience and probably why I'm so comfortable with it today. Yeah could you talk a little bit more about I'm just so interested I was so interested to talk to you too because um, following up with you, you kind of went back to like another farming story. Mm -hmm. So yeah. can you talk about, is there any connection there? I don't want to make it up. But no, I'm yeah. Curious, could you explain like that a little bit? Yeah, um, in class when you brought up the farm tour, I'm like, oh, I really want to do that. Because there's just something about farmers that for some reason they're just so down to earth and very easy to talk to and so eager to talk to me. You would almost think they'd be like, eh, I don't want a camera in here, you know, but they're just so eager to interview with me and tell me all about their farm and especially about their history um, and so I just knew that I'd love it and they always have such good stories to tell. So, yeah. yeah and how has that made you um, connect? Do you think, I mean you're a journalism major so as you continue on in your studies here at Finley and, and in your career um, when you think back to this project um, do you think that that, I mean, we know that connection to the community is important. So could you, like, talk to that a little bit? If the project mm -hmm. helped you realize that, like, you said, oh, I was scared or I didn't no, know? No, ab absolutely, because it made me more comfortable to talk to people in the community because I'm not from around here. So um, I'm comfortable talking to people anyway, but when you have a camera, it's really different because people are intimidated. So I really learned how to make someone feel comfortable um, when interviewing them, I just kind of have small talk with them and make them feel comfortable. Like, for example, um, 
Mr. Metzger wasn't that nervous because he knew we were coming with cameras, but when I went to the farm tour, um, they didn't really expect that, I think. So then they were nervous, like, what questions are you going to ask me? Like, what should I say? I said, I'd, so then I just acted like I was talking to them and got footage of it. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I don't right. know if that answers your question. No, no, it does. <laughs> and so can you tell me, um, for you as a freshman, um, coming into a digital media class, I guess, was this project impactful for you? And if it was, how so? And if it wasn't, like, why do you think it wasn't? It was so impactful for me because I always looked at journalists as they just sit on a desk and they read off of things. I never looked at it as storytelling. So when I really talked to Mr. Metzger and got to learn his story, I realized that being a journalist, I had a lot of power in my job and I could really tell people stories like Mr. Metzger, who people don't necessarily know about because um, farming is really um, you know, low and people don't, they don't know a lot about them even in a rural community like Finley. Um, so I'd love to tell just some people's stories like that.